All right, so I decided to give you guys a little review, unboxing, not really a review, but an unboxing of, you know, the Rivet Buckle Removal Tool Set. Uh, as you can see right here, this little dash is uh, ticking out. I didn't need to use this for that in particular uh, project. <clears throat> About to decide to buy this anyways, figuring that I might need it, and just in case I need it for this, you know. So let's go ahead and see what comes inside this little kit. I like the little pouch, you know, nice little pouch. Pretty sturdy what it is first little uh tool it's like a little uh hammer back of the hammer like little uh mechanism pretty strong plastic a little bit bendable now another little tool you know he's gonna be coming in real good handy doing like little crevices and trying to pry things up open and stuff like that instead of reaching for a butter knife it's another one all these little different shapes is gonna really come in handy when you know another one right here this one got like some little small couple little small ridges right there I don't know if it's focusing or not all right so this is a little metal screwdriver handle but like with a little you know I don't know what that would be used for probably for some, I don't know, some screws or nails and stuff too. Next in the tool bag, we got this bad boy right here. Kind of similar to this, but just plastic and kind of like at a, uh, what's that? What angle is that? 45 degree. You see it kind of like angles back a little bit and then turns in. Even little bins like that is uh, comes in handy. So I think it's the last thing inside here. Yep, a wide one. Kind of like one of those little painting little uh, things. So as you guys can see, I took apart my end dash. Like I had told you guys, I want to do some carbon fiber. So that's what I've been doing. You know, so that's going to go back up right there. Can't wait to see uh, how this bad boy look with my screen and everything that's coming today. It's coming a little bit early. So I don't want to put this all the way in. I'm going to slide it in just for now. Just to see. Give myself an idea how it's going to look. I'm not doing no carbon fiber on this part. That's gonna to be too much of a headache trying to get, well, not really. If I were to do this part, I had to get some more carbon fiber. I kind of ran out, ran out of uh, the carbon fiber I was using. So I just wanna have enough of it inside different places. Just to give it that little nice little accent. So that's roughly how it's gonna look, you know. It's not too bad, especially when I clean all this off. It kind of got like some little gunk up on there, even on this little screen down here too. Just wipe everything off. Now I got the little, um, all of this part too. Boom. So yeah, with that part inside, then now it looks bringing it out even more. You see some little blemishes and stuff on this part, which I'm not really worried about. It's, it's all about what I like, you know, it's good enough for me. I'm still do something else to it. I might change this whole thing out, but you know, for what it is right now, that's pretty good. I still want to do something with the steering wheel, do some carbon fiber. I might have to buy some more. I want to get a carbon fiber BMW logo right here. I'm also going to take my uh, prying tools that I just got did an unboxing of and pry this whole thing out the little air vent and everything, the whole housing, and put carbon fiber over the front. Also on this side, pry this out, disconnect the electricals and stuff like that. And you know, um, put the carbon fiber on the front. I'm gonna pry this out, take this off, and then put the carbon fiber over this. Then also looking up here, I might put some like inside of here, you know, if you catch my drift. Not none on the edges, you know what? That might not look bad. Just put some on the edge too, going across. I was just thinking like, kind of like having like an accent of carbon fiber, like in the inside right here. And I'm just looking at other parts too, what I can do. And it haven't been detailed yet. I want to get it detailed. I'm going to get it detailed. What I mean I want to, I'm going to get it detailed. Get the, um, you know, uh, tent going across right there. Get the tent on all the windows. I kind of wonder if, I was kind of thinking I want to keep I have my other car keep these untinted, the front two windows, and just keep this out of back ones tinted. 
I see how I feel when I get there. Um, I'm surprised I didn't decide to, decide to do this with my other BMW, how much I loved it. But, um, you know, I guess I'm more excited with this one, you know, given the fact of the price I got it for and some of the fixes that I know may do may fix my issue that I'm having with it. And I'm going to be fixing it myself and doing something new with my YouTube series in a new way in the new, in the new year. You understand? So I'm just excited, man. So all the people that have been subscribing to me, all the people that have been watching me for a long time, man, thank you. Thank you guys for this journey and, you know, just, you know, sticking along with me all these years and just, you know, man, it just feels good. Now, before I go, let me show you guys this real quick. Uh, you see how I had the carbon fiber up on here? I decided to take it off of this one because it had too many imperfections and stuff like that. And um, since I'm about to order some more anyways, I might as well just go ahead and redo this one. Do it perfectly since I, since I know what not to do. Uh, so that's what we're going to do with that. But... You know, this is gonna stay like it is, regardless, because yeah, I didn't do all that work for nothing, God damn it. And this looks good enough, so. All right, so finally it's here, folks. I'm damn sure I'm about to wait until tomorrow to get started on this. I'm about to, you know, I got my trusty light right here. And, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this bad boy. And give you guys a little update maybe tonight as I go along, you know, let you guys know my progress. So first I'm going to go ahead and do a little unboxing. Um, go ahead and take it in the house, actually do a regular unboxing and then go ahead and bring it back inside here and get to work inside here. So catch you guys later on the next clip.